there, you write and help me messages in the sand, coconut trees, no water. Well, there is water. Hey, is that past the gym? I hope so. Are they coming to pick us up? Hey. Are they coming to pick us up? You know me? No. Timothy's brother. Oh, you're Timothy's brother? Yeah, Joe. Joe? Yeah. Hey, Joe. Say hello to Australia, mate. Buller. 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 <laughs> I can see now. The, the smile. Yeah. There he goes. He's got to come around. Yeah. Oh. He's going hard and low. Oh, baby, go. Pull up, pull up. <laughs> hey, this guy's a stunt man. Get ready to duck, Ellie. <laughs> Look at him come. Woohoo! Hey, hey. Stay tall, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey? Eh? Okay, I don't duck. <laughs> I duck, duck, duck. Oh, that guy can just at the front door of Pastor Jim's house. That's just where we landed out there a couple of days ago. And um, tonight we're going to head out past the reef around the other side of the island to the point where we're going to do some fishing. There's some guys just heading out now. And uh, fishing at this time of year is apparently the best time of year to go fishing. All these palm trees here um, at the front yard. And um, just over beyond the uh, palm trees there, maybe one day we'll build, build a uh, bure. And um, we're coming now into Pastor Jim and his wife Naomi's house, which is about uh, 15 to 20 minutes walk from the village. And um, he's been living here for um, many years now. There's some nice trees and he's got a fresh water supply coming down out of the mountains and um, good fish and um, down the beach there further is um, there's a lot of crabs and things like that to eat. He's got a lawnmower, some chickens, some ducks, some puppy dogs that smile and um, <laughs> And uh, other things. <laughs> and um, here's Ellie. Um, what are you doing, Ellie? Ow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Have you broken one yet? Huh? Yeah, is that a fresh one? Ah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. And this is the Naomi's kitchen over here. And down the back there's a couple of pigs down there. My pigs. Are your pigs? Mm -hmm. Okay. No. And what's in there, Ellie? Attic. More coconuts? Okay. Hey. Yeah. Ooh. Strike. Oh. Hey. This is lucky. This is here with the crack. Hey. 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 Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Go, baby. I told you my coconut. Smack that coconut's head. Hey. Hit it again. Then give me a piece of coconut. Without sand. Oh, yeah. Come on. Give some. <laughs> Give it up. Mm. Coconut is me. 
<laughs> Adios. Uh, this is the um, inside of uh, Pastor Jim's place. So this is a Fiji and Bura. That's how they make it. Yes. It's quite cool. High roofs. Open plan. Windows and doors. The floor. There's mats down. That's all. That's all there is to it. You can make little shelves and stuff like that if you want to. Yep. There's Naomi getting some um, seaweed for lunch. And down the beach further, there's um, right down there you can see um, Ellie and the orange with uh, Pastor Jim and and um, they're just catching some crabs for fishing. Yeah, come around here again. Just looking at the the house from the um, the entry as you walk in and so we're thinking about putting a um, a bure in there I'm just not too sure if I really want to tell anyone or I'll just secretly disappear <laughs> but the thing is it's like yeah I know I know it doesn't matter if anyone knows where that we're gonna have a little house here because no one knows how to get here. Yes! Ah. So I can be a um, castaway pirate after all. Yes! Yes! Fantastic! That's it. My secret will not be revealed. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you're just over here because it's amongst these newly planted coconut trees. They'll grow up crunch and um, so they'll all be up high right they'll all be up high grow into big coconuts and just watching my step here there's a few bindis in the grass but yeah these little trees will grow up I don't know how long it takes but whatever and then right here with those two, that pole is, with that turtle dove sitting on top, and that pole there, right here. So basically what we're going to have is a, um, a buru, 8 metres by 5 metres, with um, a window facing out the back there, which is nothing really, to nothing there. One window which is facing up the beach, there. So we can sort of, you know, this a bit here and so we've got a nice little point there beside the creek and the headland up there and then out so that's that that's that view okay that's out the, the window there and then out this way here it's going to be a front door and get a double front door I want a double front door not a single I want a big front door so I can open it up right yeah this has been Nev's Bura <laughs> What else can we do to it? Air conditioning, yeah, it's refrigerator, uh, out this way. So that beautiful area there, there's one door there, and that's going to be just a normal single door, which will give us access out here, so, yeah, where everyone comes to eat, and we'll sit around with uh, Pastor Jim and his wife Naomi, and um, we can pray, read books, spend some time and um, cook our meals and uh, go fishing and snorkeling so um, I'm pretty pleased about all that because I've always thought that I'd end up living on a on an island somewhere and um, I'm 36 years of age and ah, trees and Ellie's 
eight, which means it's only another eight years, and she's going to be 16, and ouch, <laughs> stepping on things. And she's going to be, uh, whether she goes into high school, or whatever she does, whether she comes with me, whether she stays there, whether she's studying or whatever. Um, Fiji's another base. Doesn't mean we can't go to Africa or to other islands, but basically it's somewhere close. People can come and visit, possibly, depending who they are and how nice they are. <laughs> and um, it'd just be a good place to, um, as a base, second base, place to come on holidays, place to um, rest. It's great. This is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. There's nothing like it here. Plentiful water, coconuts, yams, pawpaws, bananas, fish, crayfish. I've got two crayfish coming tomorrow for $15 a kilo. The guys will go out and catch it for me, you know, which is great. It's $45 a kilo for crayfish in Australia. Um, I can buy fish for any fish I like, any reef fish for three bucks a kilo. Um, uh, we can get a boat, a price to boat. Uh, boats are expensive wherever you go, but a second-hand boat, fiberglass, 16, 18 foot boat with the Yamaha 50 horsepower on the back, something there about second-hand is going to cost approximately about $8,000. New, $15,000. So, um, I mean, if you had to buy your own boat for $15,000, so be it. But, you know, what we're thinking about doing is um, fundraising because we've developed some new ways to fundraise for the church. And one of them is selling petrol on the island too cause that's the main form of transport is boats. So we're thinking of selling petrol and we can make between $500 and $1,000 a month. So that's what um, I've been talking to Jim about, reinvesting in buying um, the big 50 gallon drums and then they sell it for nine dollars a gallon so they make about 25 percent profit per litre which is pretty good and um, they do that as well as their normal um, fundraising and um, once we've built the church building after that we are going to be able to um, do other things get the boat to go out and do trips to other villages and um, go fishing to catch um, fish and crayfish to sell as well, to fundraise as well. Um, I, can, I can see it. I can see the places ready just to, to boom here. Um, since I was last here, Jim's got...